In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the invisible business that funds the web. And I'm going to bring meaning to this article that was written in 2012, and it's entitled, I'm Being Followed, How Google and 104 Other Companies are tracking me on the web. And it goes on to ask the question, who are these companies and what do they want from me? A voyage into the invisible business that funds the web. So I'm going to give you a live demonstration to answer these questions and to show you how lucrative this business is and how relatively risk-free it is for you to be in the middle owning a demand side platform. So in the last video, I asked you to download this free add-on that's called Disconnect Me. And it's available for the Windows and the Apple operating systems and for smart devices. Now, once you install it, you should see a little icon like this. And it'll appear right on your browser, okay? And based on the type of browser that you have, it might be located in a different area. But for the Chrome browser, and I'm using a MacBook, it appears right here. So what I want to do now is go to my local newspaper, and I want to show you what happens in real time when I do that. My local newspaper is thestate.com. Now I want you to look at this right here. And all of this is in real time. Now in that fraction of a second between the time I left one site and went to the other, these companies are tracking me. Some of them are just logging my visit. Some of them are tracking my activity and they're selling that information to other companies who might combine that information and say, hey, we have this person in South Carolina, for example, in the 29212 area code, and he appears to be searching for something. So if I'm going from one place to the other, I'm going to build an online file about my behavior and my activity. And that information has a value to a marketer or to an advertiser based on what I'm doing in real time. And based on the algorithms that these companies have designed, it can anticipate certain things. Or based on the online file about me, they can determine the things I like, the things I do, the things that I might be contemplating or comparing. Now, if I left this site and went to cars.com, for example, And I'm going to unblock the sites. Now there are even more companies interested in me. And why is that? Suppose I'm looking for a certain type of car. And there's a dealership that is located right around the corner from where I am. And they have the same type of car that I'm interested in. That information is of value to my local car dealer. So this is how it works, and this is where you will be with a demand side platform. You will have relationships with one or more of these partners, and this will allow you to provide a client with exactly what they are looking for if they are selling a product or a service, if they have a specific message that they want to get out to a specific type of person. And this is the backbone of real-time bidding, of retargeting, of big data, contextual advertising, this process right here is the backbone and the foundation of it all. I'll go to one more site, eBay, and take a look at it again. So this is the business that we are in, that invisible business that funds the web. It's the basis of free online content because you have advertisers that are paying to put their message in front of a consumer. And this technology allows us to fine-tune more precisely the type of ad that a consumer might be interested in. So if we've done our job in the back office and set up the campaign based on the objectives of our client and your client, then I don't have to tell you how lucrative something like this is. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you what your demand side platform looks like. And I'm going to show you just a few options. And then I'm going to explain how you can get one and how easy it's going to be to operate one. So I'll talk with you in the next video. And I thank you so far for listening.